Ladies and gentlemen, I am Brock Beard, and this is your starting lineup as they have qualified for the 65th annual Daytona 500. On the pole, making up the front row for a record six consecutive year, it's Alex Front Row Bowman. Alongside just where he started last year, it's young money Kyle Larson. A perfectly good sandwich in row two with sliced bread himself, defending series champion and 2015 winner Joey Logano, next to the bacon-backed bullet of the Cuban Missile, Eric Amarola. Fresh off his second win in the duels, Amarola seeks his first 500 in his 13th attempt. Row three, Christopher Bell, so clutch in the playoffs last year and defending 500 winner Austin Sindrick. Row four, Ryan Blaney, so close so many times, including 118 laps led here in 2018. Fan favorite Chase Elliott looks to join the Allisons and Petties as a second generation 500 winner. It's an all Roush Fenway Keselowski row five with last year's Bristol winner, Chris Busher and Brad the Big Keselowski, his 14th 500 start. Row six, 2021 Daytona 500 champion, Michael McDowell, very quick last season, and Corey LaJoy, nearly a winner in Atlanta last July. Row seven, making his 22nd and final 500 start to kick off the forever tour. Give a call to 2014 series champion and 2007 Daytona 500 winner, happy Kevin Harvick. To the closers outside, how about Todd Gilliland, who pulled off this incredible save on the final lap of his qualifier on Thursday. Back to row eight, Bubba Wallace, last fall's Kansas winner, twice a runner up in the 500. Clash winner Martin Truex Jr. seeks his first 500 in his 19th attempt, the most of any driver in this field. Row 9, in his second career start, defending Truck Series champion Zane Smith starts next to three-time 500 winner Denny Hammerin Hamlin. The 10th row has Harrison Burton for the Wood Brothers, and Priest Lightning Ryan Priest nearly pulled off the win two weeks ago in Los Angeles. Row 11, William Red Byron starts next to rookie contender Noah Gregson in the Square Hamburger Car. Row 12 belongs to Team Trackhouse. Ross the Boss Chastain and Danny's Amigos are out in force for Daniel Suarez. That Jones boy, two-time Southern 500 winner Eric Jones starts in the 13th row next to Tyler Reddick, who won his first three races last season. Row 14 sees the ace, 2018 winner Austin Dillon and Super Speedway standout Justin Haley. Row 15, dangerous A.J. Allmendinger, back to full-time cup racing for the first time in five years, and last spring's Phoenix winner, Chase Briscoe. Row 16, Ricky Stenhouse Jr., just a few laps short of winning here last year. Owner-driver B.J. McLeod has two straight top 10 finishes in the last two summer races here. Row 17, last year's Xfinity Series champion Ty Gibbs will be one to watch, and to his outside. Here comes the money! Here we go. What a drive Thursday for Connor Daly, who survived to advance to his first Daytona 500. Row 18, Cody Ware finished a career best sixth here last August. The wild thing, Kyle Busch rolls out the backup after this brutal wreck in dual race two. Today marks his 18th try to win the great race, the first since 1991, where Joe Gibbs Racing doesn't have car 18 in the field. Row 19, Ty Dillon for Spire Motorsports, and the cup debut of terrible Riley Herbst. The final row, welcome back the 40 dominate, or is it 80 Dama 4, of two-time 500 winner and seven-time series champion Jimmy Johnson. And rounding out the field, 10 years after his lone full-time Xfinity Series season, welcome back Travis Pastrana. Two teams failed to qualify, Xfinity Super Speedway star Austin Hill, former KBM driver Chandler Smith. And ladies and gentlemen, there's your field for the great American race. In America, there exists a sport that is driven by the fans. They are why everyone works so hard on the teams and at the tracks, in front of the grandstands and behind the scenes to give the fans the greatest race possible. NASCAR fans deserve the best, starting from the high banks of Daytona all the way to the shores of California and at every race in between. NASCAR fans, you're the reason for our success. Thanks.